Uh, hello everyone, I am Crawlers and um, today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, Battlefield 3 style uh, font uh, whether you want to use it for your YouTube thumbnails or you know things of that nature anywhere you want to use it. Alright so first things I'm gonna I'm in Photoshop right now obviously uh, first I'm gonna go to file new create a new um, background a new canvas let's see maybe 1280 by 7, whatever, 760, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to make a transparent background for now because I want to show you uh, everything and how it looks, but you don't need transparent background for this, obviously. Alright, so here we have our background. I'm going to grab the text tool and um, I'm going to select Big Noodle Titling as my font, uh, which is available for free, uh, for free at the font dot com and I'm gonna start typing uh let's see battlefield three let's say doesn't matter what I type obviously uh I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle here and um right now I'm actually going to go to select all this and I'm going to change the color to white all right now now we have our uh we have our word up, typed up. Now I'm going to um, click on, right click on the uh, layer right here, not on the layer name, on the layer itself, and I'm going to choose Select Pixels. Alright, now that our pixels are selected, I'm going to go to Select, Modify, Expand, and I'm going to expand the whole thing by, let's say, 5 pixels. And it depends on how big your font is. Maybe you want to expand, expand by 10 or 7 pixels, but uh, for me, 5 should work. So I expanded this selection by 5 pixels. Alright, now I take the fill, uh, the bucket fill tool. I make a new layer by pressing this uh, new layer button. And I fill, I choose the black color and I press fill. Alright, now we get. Uh, this is how we get the background for the battlefield uh, for the font. Now, I, I, what I did here was I put the black layer uh, behind our uh, behind the word that we typed, the battlefield three word. So now we have sort of it's starting to look like, but it's not quite there. All right, so our font is not uh, entirely there yet. Uh, I'm going to deselect this by pressing Ctrl D on my keyboard, and um, now I'm going to create those vertical lines, the grid that uh, will add to the Battlefield 3 font. Now I'm going to make a new pattern, so I'm going to make a file new, uh, make a very very small canvas, six by six pixels, and uh, right now I'm going to zoom in using uh, Alt and my mouse wheel. And now I'm going to grab the uh, brush tool and change it to pencil tool. And I'm going to uh, set it to 100 hardness and 1 pixel size. Uh, now I'm going to choose a color, color which is uh, this color I already made. It's called uh, C3EBFF. And um, I'm going to put two straight lines right down the middle of this new canvas that I made. Alright, so now I'm going to select all of it by pressing Ctrl A and um, I'm going to go to Edit uh, Define Pattern. I'm going to call this pattern something like, uh, you know, Battlefield uh, 3 lines or something, anything you want, and save it by pressing OK. Uh, but I already have this pattern made, so I don't have to save it. I'm going to press cancel. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to our uh, uh, our uh, what just we just typed our Battlefield 3 font, and I'm going to make a new layer by pressing this new layer button. Now I'm going to go to edit fill, and I'm going to uh, for fill I'm going to choose pattern. And I'm going to find the pattern, select the pattern that I just made right here. And I'm going to press OK. And now you can see we got a new layer with these vertical lines that we just made. 
Alrighty, now after we have, uh, after we've put the lines down here, uh, now would be a good time to press Ctrl T and maybe resize them if we want, if we want them to be, you know, to, there to be more lines, we can, you know, squeeze them a bit, we can uh, turn them just a tiny, tiny bit uh, sideways, so, you know, just to break up the uh, up and down straight thing. And then we uh, lock it down like this. Alright, so now we need to cut ev all the lines that are outside our battlefield font. So, I'm going to go to right click on the uh, bottom uh, black layer that's behind all this. I'm going to go to select pixels. Now I'm going to go click on the select the lines layer. And I'm going to go to select uh, inverse. And now I'm going to press delete on my keyboard and now everything outside the letters is gone. So now I can uh, go to select, uh, deselect and now we have our lines right here uh, that you can see. Now what we do is uh, we take this lines layer and we slide it behind our uh, white battlefield, uh, battlefield 3 uh, layer that we just typed. So. Uh, you know, it's in front of the black layer, but behind the white layer. All right, now we want to take off, take a little bit off the top of the lines right here. So we take the eraser tool and um, make sure it's uh, at zero hardness and at about 70 uh, flow or so. And we want it to be, uh, size it up to be a bit more and just go around and erase take a few a little bit off the top of the lines right like this so you can see that the lines they sort of come out of nowhere and um, it's starting to look pretty cool like this we can even go back and erase the lines a bit so we see the slant uh, that they're not erased you know horizontally like the top is taken off of them, we can just, you know, go like this, just give it a bit more life. Alrighty, now that um, everything is done and it's starting to look really cool, I'm going to um, go right click on the battlefield on the white uh, topmost layer, I'm going to go to blending options, and I'm going to choose a gradient overlay. Uh, now here you go to reverse, you reverse the gradient and uh, click on it to change it around a bit. Take the black, uh, you don't want the black to be so dark, let's say you choose something like uh, 959595 and um, you click OK and um, there we go, that's sort of our uh, battlefield look that we're going for. Uh, now, Battlefield 4 font is kind of, uh, it's incredibly uh, similar to this, except the lines, uh, these lines are horizontal, and they're not erased at any point, so, and of course, the color is not uh, light blue, it's uh, orange, and also, instead of the uh, black background, also, it's also orange, and, um, you know, you can even add a little bit of motion blur uh, to the lines if you want, but, you know, that's uh, that's for you, I guess, to play with. But that's how I make the uh, Battlefield 3 font uh, that you see on all my thumbnails and, uh, and such. Well, I hope as this has been helpful to someone. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and um, thanks for watching.